Finally tonight, Olympic history grown here in Cleveland. Jesse Owens, he's arguably one of the most famous Olympians in history, and he's from right here in our own backyard. Leon Bibb reflects on the importance of Jesse Owens and his lasting legacy. The old tree hangs tough, standing its ground, even in the face of whatever nature tosses its way. The sturdy old oak, known for strength, has lived up to its billing for 84 years. It was not sprouted from an acorn in this Cleveland location, but from one in Germany. The sprig was hand carried here by a Clevelander who performed on the world stage of the 1936 Olympics. Story of a Cleveland man awarded the tree when it was a sapling and he a sprinter. With four Olympic victories, Jesse Owens brought them home to be planted. Only one remains. On the Cleveland West Side, the old oak at James Ford Road's school track, where Owens often practiced, still grows. Jesse Owens was the champion sprinter from Cleveland East Tech High School and Ohio State University. He won the 100, the 200, the long jump, and a relay race in the 36 Olympics, where he was snubbed by Germany's Adolf Hitler. In doing so, Jesse Owens destroyed the Hitler myth of Aryan supremacy. In New York, Jesse was welcomed as the Olympic champion. But the hotel where Owens was honored required him to take a freight elevator to reach the event. And another snub from his own country. Owens and the other black American medal-winning Olympians received no invitations to the White House to shake hands with President Franklin Roosevelt. There was a big parade in Jesse's hometown of Cleveland, followed by a job with Cleveland's Parks and Recreation Department. Owens began a dry cleaning business, which didn't do well, forcing personal bankruptcy. To make a living, Jesse was forced to put on running exhibitions, such as racing a horse. He needed money. I couldn't eat gold medals, he said. This Olympian, who was the best in racing on a track, could not outrun racist ideas. Six years later, he was given the job of director of national fitness for African Americans. He eventually moved into public relations, but that was 20 years after the Olympics. Long after the Olympics, I met Jesse Owens. Of course, I was too young to fully understand what I was doing, but my parents said I looked at him with wide eyes. I did know Jesse's nephews and his brother. In fact, Jesse's brother married my cousin. In a way, Jesse and I are, in a way, in the same family. Recently, a sprig of the surviving original Owens tree was grafted and planted in Rockefeller Park in University Circle. It was as if Jesse had passed a baton to the next branch of the family. This Olympics year, I will especially reflect on 36, when Cleveland's Jesse Owens won four gold medals. I will think of the house at East 100th Street in Carnegie, where Jesse lived, his East Tech High School, and the oak saplings the Olympics awarded him with his gold medals. He died in 1980, but in his life, he ran the good race on and off the track, even in the face of racial obstacles. For me, there are memories. Jesse Owens striding for America in the Olympics. There is something golden in that, especially at the time he did it. For 3 News, I'm Leon Bibb.